everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video i decided to film this very summery fresh dewy makeup look even though it's still not very summery outside it's been very gloomy where i live so that kind of sucks but i feel like the sunshine is around the corner it's been trying to peek through so i wanted to film something super super easy for summer that has some pops of color so i did this really fun vibrant orangey coral lip and then i paired it with really easy eye look a very very soft orange on the lid and then a pop of color once again on the tear duct of my eye to complement the lips so. so without further ado let's get into the video all right guys first i'm grabbing my l'oreal hydrogenous moisturizer and i'm just gonna spread that all over my face to make sure my skin is nice and moisturized before we put all of the makeup on For foundation today, I'm going to be mixing two foundations. First is the Infallible Pro Glow, and second is the Tarte Amazonian Clay. I went ahead and put a dab of each of these on the back of my hand and picked it up with a fluffy brush. I'm just going to start patting that in all over my face. For eyes today, I'm going to be dipping into the Kylie Burgundy palette and using the shade Beach. Picking up any fluffy crease brush, I'm using the Morphe M518 brush. I'm just going to dabble in that just a bit and start blending out that color right above my crease. We're keeping this look really simple, so all you're going to do is keep going in windshield motions from the outer corner of the eye to the inner corner of the eye, only using that one color. I didn't realize that my friend was in the screen the whole time, so just ignore her in the background. I love this shade because it's super neutral, it goes with everything, and it looks good on every single skin tone. So that's why I constantly dip into this palette. As you can see, I picked up a little bit more and I'm just once again going over those lines right above the crease. Next up from the Burgundy palette, I am grabbing the shade Naked, which is that really, really soft with a slight shimmer to it in the upper left corner. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my finger. Sometimes this is better for sparkly shadows. So I'm just using my index finger and rubbing it in the shadow just a bit and then placing that right on my lid. Don't worry about it being perfect. This is just a super easy look for any time, any occasion, so you don't need it to be perfect. We're not doing a cut crease or anything crazy like that. Just to be sure that these eyeshadows are mixing nicely, I'm picking up that M518 brush once again, and I'm just going to blend out those shadows. All right guys, it's time to conceal those designer bags, if you know what I mean. For concealer, I'm using one of my favorites, ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and I believe it is in the shade Light. And I'm just placing that in a triangle form right below my eyes, down the bridge of my nose. For liquid contour, I'm going with LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Beautifully Bronze. Picking up any small stippling brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. The LA Girl concealers tend to dry pretty quickly, so I always like to blend those ones out first. So I'm gonna start with where I placed that dark concealer first, which was on my cheekbones, and then blend out whatever I did next, which was my forehead in this case. Time to blend out that concealer, so I am taking my Real Techniques sponge. Make sure you damp it ahead of time, and I'm just gonna blend out that concealer nicely right below my eyes and take it all the way up my cheekbone. Around the top of my mouth, the inner part of my forehead, and my chin. To set my concealer today, I'm going in with Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm just going to place that down with a different beauty sponge that is not damp. 
and put it right over all the places where I put my concealer. So under my eyes, on my chin, on my forehead, and above my lip. To create somewhat of a harsher line, I'm also going to take some of that translucent powder with my beauty sponge and go right down my cheekbone. For lashes today, I'm going in with Coco Lashes in the style Risqué. I've found that I've been using these lashes a lot lately. I just really like them for going out um, and for the daytime because they're not too dramatic, but they're also full enough that they look really, really pretty during the day. Now that we've let that translucent powder bake for a few minutes, I'm going to take a huge fluffy brush and just wipe that away. We are now going to smoke out our lower lash line using the shade Law from the same burgundy palette. You can use any brush for this. Go ahead and pick up some of that shade and then just dust it right below your lower lash line. I tend to start from the outer corner of my eye and then I bring that in to the inner corner of my eye. This shade has a really nice shimmer to it so it's gonna help your makeup pop, especially during the daytime and the summer when it's nice and sunny and bright outside. For a little pop of color, I'm gonna dip into my Morphe Second Nature palette and pick up this really, really pretty bright, almost vibrant red slash orange color, which I guess you could call coral. Using a really skinny brush for this part, I'm just gonna put this at the very, very cor inner corner of my eye where my tear duct is. This is gonna give your eyes a really fun pop of color. For lower lash mascara today, I'm going in with Maybelline's Great Lash Mascara, and I'm also going in with L'Oreal's Voluminous Mascara on top of that. I personally love my lashes, super, super dramatic especially the bottom ones, because I kind of feel like they, they hide the wrinkles under my eyes. So I'm going in with two different mascaras. You don't have to do this, but like I said, I personally love to do this. To add a little bit of a smokiness, I'm going in with Max Black Pencil Eyeliner. And I'm gonna put that all over my waterline. Since we are doing a fun summertime look, I'm gonna go in with a really pretty pink blush. This is by L'Oreal. And I'm gonna use any big fluffy brush, dip into that a little bit, and then put it right on my cheeks. I like to bring it up kinda high too, just to give my skin a really nice soft blushed pink color. To carve out my cheekbones today, I'm going in with Kat Von D's Shade and Light Palette. And I'm picking up the shade right in the middle with my e.l.f. blush brush. I'm just gonna stick that color right in the hollows of my cheeks. When I'm putting on bronzer, I like to start at the very top of my cheek and then kind of build it, working my way downwards towards my mouth. Taking that same contour color, I'm just going to spread this at the very top of my forehead and underneath my chin as well. Now picking up a little bit of that darker shade, I'm going to put that directly in the hollows of my cheeks. You only need a little bit, you don't want to go too crazy because this is a really dark color. And then once you place it down gently, you're going to blend that out. I want to be extra, extra glowy for this look, so I'm dipping into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Ultimate Glow Kit, and I'm picking up the two shades furthest to the right. When I want a really intense highlight, I tend to mix two, three, sometimes even four colors. So for now, I'm just going to start with these two colors, see how I like it, and then build from there. Remember, highlighters are super buildable, so you don't have to start out too intense. You can always add more later. So besides the high points of my cheeks, I'm also taking that highlight, putting it down the bridge of my nose, on my upper lip, and also on each side of my forehead. 
Next, going in with that white shimmery shade and a small brush, I'm just gonna put that on the inner tear duct of my eye to give that a nice shimmer. And I'm also gonna place some under my brow bone and above my lip. Today's lippy is my favorite, favorite part of this look. I am picking up Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Electric Coral. This shade can do no wrong. It's so fun for summer and you're bound to get complimented on it. It is such a statement piece, or should I say statement makeup piece. All right guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you wanna see more easy, quick, summertime makeup looks. I know some of the makeup looks I've done so far haven't been the easiest, so I really wanted to do something that was doable for you guys this time around. So let me know if you try this look and what other looks you would enjoy seeing. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.